The problem with drawing freehand in ink is that there's no pencil. And therefore, every line we put on the paper remains at the end. So how do we, how do we start our drawing? How do we rough out what we're doing? Where the positions of various things are and proportions are? And not have a lot of unsightly lines at the end. Now, this technique that you're seeing me use now certainly works for this problem for me. And helpfully to do this, my mind focuses on marks rather than lines. And dots and dashes are great marks for this process. Now, it is deliberately light, so you might have to concentrate or look hard to see my marks exactly. But what I'm wanting to do is to put marks that will guide the darker, firmer, final marks of the drawing, the marks that will actually create the drawing. And different subjects give us different possibilities for marks. So these marks that I'm using now are particularly good for natural scenes, for landscapes, for forests, for mountains, for rivers, and where perhaps there's minimal building or, or people. But if you can see what I'm doing, I'm trying to define the major elements. And so I still work very hard to position these marks correctly the first time. I don't necessarily need to draw everything. I don't need to outline everything. I'm not actually trying to outline things. I'm trying to give myself a visual guidance as to where these most important elements are. So if you look on the extreme right-hand side where I started with some trees coming down, I'm moving across, but I've just got some lines that indicate trees in a row, but they're not the most important trees. But they help me position the proportions of the page as I move across. And then when I do come across the next imp most important one, I can do more marks to define more of that more confidently. So you've seen now for this drawing, all of the marks that I placed on the paper and the way I placed them before I started. Now, none of them are outlines. None of them are locked in marks that I'm going to use. And even where I did marks or even more of a, of a line, of a jagged line to indicate, say, the top of this bush in the lower left, I didn't actually use it as an outline. It's simply a reference point. And I know that those marks are all going to be covered in what I do. Now, another good reason not to do outlines is that particularly in natural scenes, outlines for most things don't work particularly well. Certainly not outlines all done the same way at the same time with the same pen as well. So for these trees, if I'd drawn straight lines down each side in pen, look at how unhelpful that would be now where I have to do leaves going back and forth in front of the trunks. And one of the major impacts of this drawing is the light effect and the fact that we do have this relatively complex layered series of shadows and, and lit areas back and forth moving into the distance and penetrating forward into the foreground. And so we need to keep a lot of flexibility because a lot of things can't be done until we create them with our final lines. But all of those marks that I did, look how they haven't stopped interfered with the effect of sunlight coming through, which was the important thing. Now here you see it in a similar scene, but a different context. I drew the figures first because if I messed them up, there was no point spending an hour and a quarter drawing the forest around them for the 10 minutes it took me to draw the figures. And then that also helped me position the scale, the proportions. Now, this one is a lot more sped up because this is only a five minute video, but you can see I did the same thing. I used positioning marks, which were flexible with this subject to let me then hide them as I drew the scene. G'day, I'm Stephen Travers. I hope you found this interesting. It's a different process of marks, say for an architectural scene, but the underlying principle is the same. But we'll cover that in another video. 
I hope this was helpful. Please hit the like button and whatever you draw, however you draw it, whatever technique you use, make sure you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.